Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the latest updates on the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Or are you a tech enthusiast or just curious about the latest smartphone innovations, you're in for a treat. Let's explore what makes the S25 series stand out in the competitive smartphone market. The Samsung Galaxy S25 series is expected to feature improved brightness, color accuracy, and viewing angles. However, the S25 Ultra will continue using the M13 display panel from the S24 Ultra rather than the newer M14 panel. This decision is likely a cost-saving measure. It's worth noting that competitors like the iPhone 16 Pro Max and Pixel 9 Pro XL are using the M14 panel, which is 20 to 30% more efficient. The S25 series will come in a variety of colors, adding a touch of personalization to your device. You can choose from Mood Night Blue, Silver Shadow, Sparkling Blue, and Sparkling Green. For the S25 Ultra, color options include Titanium Black, Titanium Blue, Titanium Gray, and Titanium Silver. Additionally, there will be online exclusive colors announced later, giving you even more choices. All models in the S25 lineup will utilize the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset. This means there will be no Exynos or MediaTek versions produced. The Snapdragon 8 Elite offers significantly improved performance, particularly in web browsing tests, surpassing both the S24 Ultra and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. This ensures that the S25 series will deliver top-notch performance for all your needs. Samsung's strategic shift toward using Snapdragon chips for its S26 series marks a significant departure from its previous reliance on in-house Exynos processors. This decision stems from a desire to leverage the superior performance and efficiency of Qualcomm's Snapdragon technology, which has proven competitive against other high-end chips in the market. The Snapdragon 8 Elite, for instance, delivers notable improvements in processing power and energy efficiency, enhancing user experience across applications, especially in demanding tasks like gaming and multitasking. Looking ahead to the S27 lineup, there is potential for the reintroduction of Exynos chips contingent upon Samsung successfully resolving existing issues with their 3M manufacturing process. These challenges have hampered the performance and reliability of processors, leading to criticisms and a growing preference for Snapdragon among consumers and tech reviewers alike. If Samsung can overcome these hurdles, the revival of Exynos could diversify its offerings, allowing for more tailored options that meet different user needs and preferences. Reintroducing Exynos chips could also foster healthy competition within Samsung, potentially driving innovation and performance improvements in both chipsets. This competition could lead to enhancements in areas such as battery life, processing speed, and integration with AI capabilities. Additionally, having both Snapdragon and Exynos options could appeal to a broader range of consumers as different markets and user segments may have varying preferences for performance characteristics, pricing, and feature sets. Overall, while the immediate future leans towards Snapdragon, the prospect of Exynos' return could enrich Samsung's portfolio and stimulate advancements in mobile. The Samsung Galaxy S25 series is shaping up to be a strong contender in the smartphone market with its impressive display technology, diverse color options, and powerful Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset. While the decision to stick with the M13 display panel might be a cost-saving measure, the overall performance improvements and new features make the S25 series an exciting release. Keep an eye on the future developments, especially regarding the potential reintroduction. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech updates. See you in the next video.